Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Katia. And for today's video, I thought I would do a thrift haul for you guys. And I know I had mentioned in my previous videos that I went thrifting for the first time in months and it felt amazing to be back in the thrift stores, finding all kinds of cool treasures. And I end up getting some pretty amazing pieces. Well, anyway, I think so. So I thought I would share those with you guys. I got some home decor and some clothing and accessories. So what I thought I would do is separate them and just start off with the home decor first and then work my way into the clothing and accessories. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Let's jump right into it. Enjoy. First up, I was not really looking for this piece but I saw it and I had to get it. The price was amazing. I'm going to show you guys. It's actually a pretty big piece. It is this lamp. And I'm not sure if you guys can see the lines in it and the texture to it. I just fell in love with the color. I fell in love with the shape. I think it has a mid-century uh, feel to it. I took out the lampshade because it really was not what I was going for. And I'm thinking of maybe going into a round one or maybe even a rectangle or a square one. I'm not too sure. I haven't found anything that I like yet. So if you guys know of a lampshade that you think would look amazing with this, please comment down below. I would love to hear your suggestions. But um, I paid this $9.75 and you know how expensive lamps can be. They can go up to like hundreds of dollars. So I'm super happy about this find and it is huge. I think it would look perfect on a council table, uh, maybe a nightstand or even maybe uh, a dresser. So I'm not too sure where I'm going to put it, but I'm definitely going to find a place for it. For my second piece, I end up getting these cute seashell plates. And I believe people use them for uh, sea uh, seafood, <laughs> not seashells. They use them for seafood. I'm not too sure, but I just think that they're so cute. I will be using them probably as a soap holder or keys or rings, jewelry a holder. I think that they're just perfect. They're great for all kinds of things. So they were a dollar each and I fell in love with the color. It's rare you see these in this kind of peachy uh, undertone which I think is perfect and I will not have to paint them or do anything to them the only thing that is so so for me is the shininess to it I would have maybe liked it to be a little bit more matte but aside that I just love these and I think they're perfect for those little trays that you need around the house I got these two baskets and they have these lids on them and they're just so cute. I love a good basket and you know that about me. Um, I just think they're perfect for storing things. I think that they look great on a counter, on a shelf, wherever. I found this one and then this one was inside the other one and I was so happy that there were actually two. I think I might be putting them in my bathroom, maybe put some Q-tips, some cotton swaps in it. I'm not too sure but I... I just can't pass up on a basket. These were actually $2 for the both of them. So they end up costing like a dollar each. Definitely worth it. For my next piece, I found this trash bin. I didn't see it as a trash bin. What I thought I would do with it is flip it over and then make a lampshade out of it. And when I saw it at first, I thought maybe I can use it as a lampshade for the lamp that I just end up getting, but it is way too big. So what I thought I would do then is maybe use it as a hanging lamp instead, but I just saw potential and I think it's super cool. I paid it $3. Whether I use it as a hanging lamp or a trash bin, I think it's definitely worth it. And it's just cute. You can't go wrong with it, right guys? Up next, you guys saw this in my previous video in the clip. I end up finding this amazing pillowcase. And you guys know how I feel about pillowcases, but I don't know what it is lately. I have been finding so many amazing pillowcases, but this is one of them and I could not pass up on it. It is so beautiful. I love the detailing of it. It was $1.99. This is just so gorgeous. And um, I can't wait to put it on my couch. <laughs> That's where it's probably gonna go. Next, I got another pillowcase, but they come in a set of two. I just fell in love with the texture. They were uh, $5.49 for two pillow shams. So these are great. I think they're gonna look perfect on my bed. I know I keep saying that I have a thing with pillows. I keep getting pillowcases, which is ironic, 
but what really bothers me about pillows is not necessarily pillow shams or pillowcases. It's more the pillows that come with the stuffing inside. It's the stuffing that I just cannot. And the pillows really have to have a good wash for me to even think of putting them anywhere. It's just a personal thing. They're simple and I just love the texture and I think that they would look great in my bedroom. For my next piece, I end up finding this super cute little mini vase. And I fell in love with the color, the texture, and it has this beautiful little light green touch inside, which is so cute. I just love little vases. If you want to give that whole high-low effect on bookshelves or councils or even in the bathroom, these are great in the bathroom. You don't want to put too much on a counter, but you do want to decorate a little bit and put accent pieces, but without it being too much. So these are just great. I paid this one a dollar. I'm super happy I found it. It's perfect. For my last piece, I end up getting this wooden, I believe it's teak, I'm not too sure, and it has a yin-yang look to it. And I think people use this for dips, you know, where you can dip your, your carrots and stuff like that, your vegetables. I will probably be using it as a tray to put my crystals or to put little knickknacks in it. And the only thing that I'm not too crazy about is the dark wood color. I think I'm going to probably sand it down and hopefully, fingers crossed, it is a lighter shade underneath. I'm just not too crazy about the dark brown. It just doesn't go well in my home, so. But I did fall in love with that yin yang look to it. It was $3.99, so definitely worth it. And I'm still happy that I end up getting it. So next we are going into the clothing part. For my first piece, this was definitely not something I was looking for. We are summertime. I was not even thinking of looking in the knit section. And I, I just kind of passed by it and it caught my eye. So I had to look at it and it was this cream vest and I mean look at the sleeves I love a good balloon sleeve and this was just one of those knit vests I could just not not get and I think that it's great even for those cold summer nights if you just want like a little vest to throw on with a pair of jean shorts and a t-shirt I think this is a great throw on so even if it's more fall and winter I think even in the summertime you do need a good knit it was I think it was $5.99 so so worth it I could not pass up on it for my second piece you guys know this about me the first place I go towards is usually the handbag section or the shoe section but when it comes to clothing I go straight towards the dresses I end up finding this beautiful dress here I was drawn towards the color this is definitely not a color that I normally go for but I just love the cut and this full English lace at the waistline and it also has it here on the top of the sleeve. I told myself worst case scenario if I really cannot get past this color then I can always dye it maybe a chocolate brown or even maybe a black. I paid it $7.99 so definitely worth it and I, I don't know there was just something special about it that I had to get. For my third piece I actually did not find it in this thrift shopping but I did find it before all this whole coronavirus thing went on. I found it at a thrift store and I still wanted to put it in this haul because I do think that it's so beautiful. And it is this gorgeous skirt and it's actually a set. So it comes with the shirt at the blouse as well. And it has like a wrap skirt here. It has a beautiful tropical pattern and I just fell in love with the pastel colors. And it's rare you see a tropical print that's not super bold and bright. And this one is just a more toned down version. It's pastel, it's girly. I wear this blouse and I just tie it at the waist. It has a poofy sleeve too. I'm, I'm totally trying to show it to you guys and it's all over the place. But it has this cute little poofy sleeve here. I love it. So anyway, I want to still put it in there and just share it with you because I do think that it's a great find. So next, I was looking in the skirt department and I go through skirts pretty quickly and what normally draws my attention is usually the fabric or the print. I was drawn towards this print and it is this navy and mustard stripe. I just love this skirt. I think it's perfect for summertime with the little ruffles and then it ties at the waist. 
so you can wear it high-waisted. It's a skirt that fits perfectly. It's not too short, not too long, and I'm 5'4", so I need the perfect length to my skirt or else it just looks awkward. I'm super happy I found this. It is a Forever 21 skirt, so it's nothing too special, but I just think it's perfect. You throw on a t-shirt uh, with your favorite pair of sandals or a cute pair of Western booties, and it just gives a whole girly vibe to your outfit. So I am super happy I got this one. So for my next piece, I actually got this super cute little mini handbag. This actually usually comes in a bigger version. I love the tan and the white mixed together. I think it's just perfect for the summertime and springtime. Um, the only thing, it didn't come with a strap, but I have another handbag that's very similar to this color. So I'm just gonna take that strap and put it on this one. I paid it $9, which was okay for a handbag. When will you ever find a bag like this? I mean, only at thrift stores. I couldn't pass up on it and had to get it. It's so cute. I got this beautiful straw bag. I fell in love with the detailing, the lightweight. I think it's a perfect bag for the summertime with a beautiful flowy dress. I think it's great for the beach, for a picnic for a stroll or a night out. It's just beautiful. It's not too big, not too small. It has this really cute handle here. I think I paid this $5.99. It's a perfect summer bag. For my next piece, I think you guys are gonna think that I'm nuts, <laughs> but it is this beautiful little handbag. Look at the beaded detail. I know that most of you are probably gonna think, when am I gonna wear this? But I pictured it with just a simple black dress and you pop this on. It just adds a little sparkle to your outfit. I cannot not get a beaded purse. Also, the handle is beaded and it's just so cute. So I had to get it. It was $10, well, $8.99, which is a little bit on the higher end when it comes to thrifting. If you don't wanna bring this big, huge bag with you and you just need to bring little necessities, I think this is a great little purse. I love it. <laughs> so for my next piece, you guys saw me wear it in the last video. I had to wear it, I got it, and then I had to wear it right away. It is a, this a beautiful beaded belt. I am obsessed with this belt. It is just gorgeous. I mean, the intricate beading to it, the colors, what's not to love about it? Even the, the shape of it. I paid it $10, which is amazing. I mean, these are pieces that, this is why I love thrifting so much, you cannot find in just regular stores. These are pieces that are one of a kind that no one else will have. Even the, the detailing at the end of where you tie it, the little beaded ball here, it's just so gorgeous. Definitely happy I found. For my last piece, I got this Baker Boy khaki colored hat. You guys are probably gonna be like, girl, you have enough hats that can like last you for an eternity but I can never have too many hats and I had to get this. I think it's so cute. It's perfect for the summertime, jeans and t-shirt. It's just a throw on for those bad hair days. I paid it $1.99 guys, so I had to get it. <laughs> So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this thrift haul. I cannot wait to go back, do another little excursion with you guys and hopefully find some more goodies and treasures. Anyway, comment down below. I would love to hear what your favorite piece was. Just thank you guys so much for watching. I love you always. Have an amazing day. Mwah.